which coordinate grid shows only a translation? Okay, we have four choices, A, B, C, and D. Four different grids, and we have four different examples here, okay? What we're saying is, see how the left figure is the same on all four of them? The left figure looks the same on all four of these, but the right figure looks different, doesn't it? Okay, so we're saying on each one of these, what do I do to this left figure to make this look like the right figure? All right, what did, on B, what did I do to this to make this figure look like this one? And so on, all right? Now, translations. Well, there, we are transforming the left image to look like the right image. Transforming. There are three different kinds of transformations that we want to talk about. The translation, the reflection, and the rotation. Now, what is a these are these are all transformations. You transform the left figure to look like the right figure. Either we're translation we have a translation, reflection, or rotation. What's a translation? In a translation, the dog moves to the right. Everything's the same. He's facing the same way. Everything's the same. He just moves over here. That's called a translation. Okay? Now a reflection, you see how the dog here is looking to the left. He's looking to the left. His nose is up here on the left side of him. In the reflection, the dog is looking the other way. The dog is looking to the right. And the nose is on the right side of the dog in the reflection. Okay? So that's the reflection. And then the rotation is kind of obvious. It rotates, doesn't it? Until it's what? Upside down. It was like this. And now it's like this. As you transform it, if you rotate it, it's now upside down, see? All right, so that's the three different kinds of transformations. What are we doing here? What are we doing here to make this figure look like this figure? Okay, well, uh, which, which way is the arrow pointing on the left figure? If, if this were an arrow, okay? Think which way is the arrow pointing? Up, up to the what? To the left. In the reflection here, yeah, it's a reflection here, because it's pointing to the right. Remember the dog? Remember on the dog? Think about this being the nose. The nose is on the right side of the dog, okay, here. The nose is on the left side of the dog, here. So we call that a reflection. But it's not just a reflection, because what? This thing, it goes from, from here to here, it did what? It moved, didn't it? So it's also a translation. It's also a translation. Okay, because it moves from there over to there. Okay, so rotation, I mean reflection and translation. Now, the only thing it's not doing is rotating, isn't it? It's not rotating on this thing. It's doing the other two, though. Now, move on to example B. What are we doing to this to make it look like this? Well, watch what we do. What am I doing with this right now? Huh? Now it looks like that, but it also went from here to where? Over to here, didn't it? And even moved down a little bit too, didn't it? So it isn't just a rotation, it's also a translation. Now, example C, okay, what's one of the things this left object is doing? Well, it was, it's reflecting, okay? You'll see in a minute, it's a reflection, and it's also, it moved, didn't it? Okay. And the other thing you have to do to make it look like this is to do what? Rotate it. So this is a combination of three different transformations. Reflection, translation, and rotation. So we're looking for the one that's only a translation, and you can see this moves from here to here. Facing the same way, it didn't rotate, it didn't reflect, all it did is what? And that's all we want. So of our four examples, we're going to pick D as our correct answer. 